uh, begin the message. So, Station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? And Houston, this is the International Space Station. We're ready. KDKA Radio, this is Houston. Please call the International Space Station for a voice check. Station, this is Larry Richard with KDKA Radio. How do you hear me? Hey, this is Mike aboard the International Space Station. I hear you loud and clear. How do you hear me? Mike, I hear you loud and clear, and it's great to hear you, and especially since you're from Emsworth in our hometown of Pittsburgh, and you have made the space station Steelers country. Indeed. It's Steelers country up here, and, and uh, we're the entire crew is re rooting for a good Super Bowl this year, and of course we want the Steelers to win. But you know, it's uh, it's more than, than just that, but still it's, uh, it's great that our team has made it to the Super Bowl yet again. Well, I know that uh, I speak for a lot of people in western Pennsylvania, uh, how proud we are of you, Mike, and what you've accomplished, and certainly your mom and dad, Ed and uh, Alma, still in Emsworth, and you have a lot of connections to Pittsburgh. Uh, they all must be very proud as well. Because of uh, Western Pennsylvania and the work ethic and the great education that I received that I can fly today aboard the International Space Station and contribute to our country and to our world space program. Mike, I saw the video where you held up the terrible towel in the space station, and i got to tell you, I got goosebumps. The hairs on the back of my neck stood straight up, especially when you held it up and it appeared upside down at first. But then you were able, in weightless space, to spin around, and we've never seen a terrible towel wave quite in that fashion. We miss Myron Cope, and uh, I used to listen to him, and uh, I, I thought the world of him, and we all miss him. Well, this is Myron Cope's uh, terrible towel, and I know that if he were with us, I think he'd be proud of it, too. And I'm really glad to have had the opportunity to bring up not just a terrible towel, but we also have one from my daughter, uh, a terrible toddler towel. I didn't know we had terrible toddler towels. And the fact is that uh, when Myron conceived of this in 1975, all of the great Steeler fans who purchased one, their efforts have gone to a good cause to help children. So it's a win-win for everybody. Pittsburgh for you. It's a city of people who care about other people that get along great, and that teamwork is uh, finds its way into our, our sports teams, and that's why we always do so well. Uh, we're talking with astronaut Mike Fink in the space station, officially deemed Steelers country. Mike, how will you and the other astronauts watch the game? Will you have a chance to take a break during game time and, and watch the Super Bowl? Larry, we run on uh, Greenwich Mean Time, which is the kind of the time it is in London. So it's about five hours different than uh, than Pittsburgh time. And so we're actually uh, going to be up late at night watching the Super Bowl, like many other people that are around the world. Uh, Sandy and I are going to definitely watch it. Uh, Yuri, he's from Russia, and he still doesn't quite get American football, but I think he's still a Steelers fan deep down inside. And. Uh Go ahead, Jeff. What is it? Now, Mike, we were wondering, what Steeler player in your mind would make the best astronaut? Good question. Um, actually, you know who I think would make the best uh, astronaut is Coach Tomlin, uh, because he, he actually understands uh, how to uh, get the whole team together, and that's what we do here aboard the space station. We, we work as uh, coaches and as players and uh, trying to get the job done. Of course, you know, everyone always thinks about uh, Troy or, or Big Ben, but you know, all those guys would do great up here uh, because it, it takes a lot of hard work and dedication and uh, a lot of will to, to really stay up aboard the space station for six months. So practically any of the Stillers could make it. Well, Mike, it would be really hard to get Troy Polamalu's hair inside even a uh, spacesuit helmet. But uh, we, 
We are very appreciative of you taking uh, some time to speak with uh, all of our friends on KDKA radios uh, streaming around the world and certainly in western Pennsylvania. Uh, God bless for the work you're doing and keep up the great work and we'll see you when you come home. Yes, indeed. I'm definitely looking forward to coming home, and uh, I owe a lot to Western Pennsylvania and to Pittsburgh. And uh, so when I fly up here, Pittsburgh is with me. That's for sure. And my family's still there in Pennsylvania, and uh, there's so much, uh, so much to come home to. And when you fly around the world and, and you do as much international travel and interspatial travel, so to speak, galactic travel, all those kind of things, uh, you really find that there really is no place like home, and that there's something really special about the, the great big Pittsburgh. So uh, thanks to everybody for all your support, uh, for everything that, uh, for our country, for our troops out there, and for our space program. Uh, we got people all over NASA who have Pittsburgh connections, and you'll find that around the world. So, uh, and God bless everyone, and, and uh, for this Sunday, go Steelers. All right, outstanding, Mike. You're the man in space, although the, you're not the first spaceman I've talked to. But that's another story. Thank you so much. That is so cool. All right. Hey, Larry, thanks for letting me be on the show. And uh, I remember when I was a school kid coming to KDKA and watching how you guys uh, do operations, and it's just really amazing. And uh, so it's a really treat, it's an honor and a treat to be on, on your show today. You know that, my friend. Come back and see us when you come back to Earth. Be safe, and uh, God bless. Thanks, and wishing you all the best from aboard the International Space Station. Station, this is Houston ACR. That concludes the event. Thank you.